When first opening up My Operations, we can see at the bottom there's three areas of the app that we can go into, Home, Map, and Analyze. We can see we are currently on the Home section. Up at the top, we can see our 2020 seeding progress. 759 acres represents the total area that has been uploaded to Operation Center in terms of planted acreage for all crops. The 761 represents all of the acreage that encompasses all of the active boundaries within your farming organization. If for some reason that number was not correct, you could select a pencil icon and adjust the acreage to whatever you desire. You can also take the 2020 seeding progress and change that from seeding to harvest where it will give you an estimated acreage of total acreage covered for the season, which would be the 661 acres harvested. The 767 would represent the planted acreage for that year. That would also include any replanted acreage in that number. So in this case, there was replant and the 767 number may be too high so in the, this is another case where we could go to the pencil icon and edit that number to match the total acres that need to be harvested. Moving on down, we can see work is selected and we simply have a running timeline and chronological order of all the field activities that have been recently performed. We can see on June 6th, the 40.01 middle field had a corn seeding operation of 0.8 acres at 5.20 p.m. We can see the 37.68 south field also had a corn seeding operation of 1.4 acres at 5.01 p.m. If you select the arrow or the V on the right-hand side, you can see more details on that field operation. You can see things such as actual rate, target rate, average speed, start and end time, as well as the variety that was planted in the field. In this case, this is a replanting application. If I would like to view the map for the field, I can simply select the map button, and the map for the field will go ahead and appear. We can see with the replant, there was a little bit of replant done at each end of the field. If I would like to go back to the home, simply select home at the bottom of the page to get back where we were. I'll simply select the arrow on the right hand side to close up the field details. You'll notice the 2% and 3% on the first two fields there and that represents how much of the field was completed relative to the acreage associated with the boundary in the field. If they're close to the acreage of the boundary, they will show a check mark like the 29 North tank mix application to show that that field activity is fully complete. If I look at one of the tank mix applications, pull up the field details, we can see actual rate, target rate, speed, total product use, as well as start and end time. We can go back through all of our field activity, even back in the years past, everything is in chronological order. I also have the ability to select notifications, which would show equipment notifications, geofence alerts, or other notifications for your organization. There is also a calendar button on the right side of the page which will simply show different field activities and what day they were performed. I can see on June 2nd, I have both a green dot and a blue dot that designates planting and product application were both completed on that day. If I would like to see what was completed on that day, I can simply choose June 2nd, and it will automatically filter to that day to show us what was completed on that day. I also have the ability 
on the right hand side there's a filter or funnel button that allows us to filter the work list. We can filter by work type, farm, field, or crop. So if I was searching for maybe a couple specific fields, I could select those fields, click close, and my work list would filter out just based on activities that have been completed in those two fields. To reset, select the filter and select clear filters at the top. This is an overview of the home section in my operations.